Okay, I've just been given the case the once over. Um, I've been in and cleaned all the rexing with um, foam cleaner. Given the uh, gorilla a wipe out. The sides, I've not. All I've done with that is put some beeswax furniture polish on it, and that's brought it up with a nice sheen. Um, these sides, I mean, it's got furniture polish on still at the moment, but these were quite badly pitted the uh, arms for the handle as you can see that's come up really nice now so looks wise it's nearly back to its former glory now the only thing and again it's me being finicky i can see a couple little tiny little tiny nicks in the paintwork so there's one two three maybe a little bit there and there's a little tiny bit up here so I'm going to touch them in because this uh, will be going back looking like brand new hopefully. So I'm just using uh, some flat black, it's it's difficult, it's almost like a satin finish on it. I don't want to use gloss because that will stick out like a sore thumb and uh, I haven't got any satin black so uh, I'm going to touch it up with this and see what it looks like. If it doesn't look any good, then it'll come off again and I'll have to go and get some satin black. We'll see how it goes. Okay, well that worked very well. <sighs> Cannot see where I've touched that up, which is good. So that means it's time for it to go back together. Now off camera, I've just um, done a couple little things to it. I checked the FM alignment and tweaked it very slightly. It, it wasn't very far off to be honest um, that's that's really all I've done nothing else I've cleaned the face plate that's looking really good which you'll see in a minute and I've got to clean the aerial but um, let's get it um, that together because I want to put some final sort of finish on the rec scene to make it look nice so it's a bit of a privilege to work on this set now I did um, say earlier that I would contact the owner well uh, sure enough he's got back to me and um, this was a prototype as I thought it's basically it was made up to test different knobs and uh, grills and end plates well you can see this is pretty unique because it's got rosewood and I mean I'll, I'll bring in another one of, of my own um, hackers in a minute just to show you a comparison between the two another thing I noticed when I was putting it back together oh, that's strange let's bring you in um, on the base and treble controls of a minute if you can see that yeah so if you can see the treble control there like <laughs> so I would I would have th thought this is probably a seconds. This has obviously been missed, been machined not correctly. I mean the knob will still fit on it because the the shaft goes down deeper than that. But yeah, <laughs> that's uh, something I haven't seen before. I thought it was a special knob that goes on it or something. But anyway. Let's get back to um, putting it back together. So as you can see, the top has come out amazing. Now, I usually put a little wipe of that silicone across these, but um, I don't know, this doesn't really need it. It's, um, it's really good anyway. So I think I'm going to leave it as is. Um, it was just really dusty and dirty, that was all. So it's probably been in a garage or something like that for a while. I'm going to screw the uh, top on. I put the aerial back in as well off camera. And I've just temporarily put the amplifier board in while I was testing it. Yeah, see that's <laughs> if you can't see that that's uh 
it's just like an earth there that's been wrapped around this screw head and then soldered back onto the board. So this is probably a work in progress boards as well. Because this was a, an all new model from, from memory. I think, um, I'm not sure if this one came out first or the Sovereign 3. Yeah, it's all lined up nicely. Right, let's pop the knobs back on the top. He says, throwing them about as well. The one needs gluing back. But they have all come up really well. Travel control. The flat is there. Let's make sure that's right. So that's fully off, so that should be down there. Yeah. Hmm. No, that doesn't line up really. Strange. Does. Hmm. Band spread, which on these is fine tune. Yeah, so I'm just going to get a little bit of glue to, um, well, a bit of silicone I'll put on that, I think. Just to hold that in place. Then we've got to put these station markers back in. Okay, well, there it is. It's got its face back on. <laughs> Sorry for the glare. It's quite bright here today. Um, it's got five red and four white station markers. I don't know if that's standard. I don't know. So I put them back in. All the knobs are back on. Um, I've just got a little bit of cleaning. Little dimples in the push buttons need a clean out because they're a little bit dusty. But uh, apart from that, we're good to go. So I need to take the amplifier shelf back out because it won't go past the speaker. Also this pesky um, FM antenna wire, which is a little bit short on this one. I think it probably made it uh, a bit bigger for the production model. There we go. Let's say I've never ever seen one of these, firstly with a black grill and secondly with rose side panels. Um, I know there's talk of them being available in rows, but I've never seen one. So I'm trying to be very gentle with this. bottom in. Actually get these rubber washers in first. Sure as well, don't forget. 
I'm trying to do this without laying it on its front because um, obviously I've just painted the grill so screws that's fine let's put the amplifier shelf back in that literally does Slides it on two runners. No, actually, we'll do that. Put the speaker wires on because it's a devil to get at them once you put the uh, shelf back in. So it's blue at the top and uh, black at the bottom. makes any difference? I don't think it does. It just makes the speaker go backwards. that wire just that fraction bigger. And finally the battery pack. underneath there we are all back together lovely rare old radio hopefully back to its former glory I say it needs a little bit of a clean up still in case uh, needs a bit of a going over but apart from that it's all looking really good. Say so my silicone will take a little while to um, go off. The damp left in underneath the knobs. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So, uh, when we get a power supply, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, well, I've got my Hacker power supply, uh, VP408. I've just checked the voltage coming out. I have uh, refurbished this one from memory. So, there's a voltage adjustment on the bottom. I've just put my multimeter on to make sure I've got 12 volts coming out of it, which I have. That's the front of the unit. So I'm going to pop that in the power jack at the back. So you need to make sure this uh, works on external power as well. Which it does.
digestive food. <laughs> Okay, well the interstation mutant needs adjusting and the looks like the um, dials are clashing for some reason, the pointers. Work in the interstation mutant. I think I'll be staying up. Mr. Tuff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Studio windows, and she's left us a box of, just say, festival chocolates. Others are available, uh, and some <laughs> mince pies as well. I've been having a lot of visitors since one o'clock this afternoon. Oh, hi, Emery. How are you? Did you have a nice four days off? Oh, those mince pies. Uh, so it's lovely. We have turned on the sound of Christmas here on Classic FM, as we're about to hear in just a couple of minutes. And I know you're getting into the festive spirit. First, there you go. All working. Brilliant stuff. Right, let's give it a, a quick uh, tartan up. So you can't really see it there very well, can you? Let's give it a quick tartan up and then... Um, Take a few photos and uh, on to the next one. Well, there it is, Hacker Sovereign, Super Sovereign um, prototype from a hacker designer entrusted to me to get sorted and I have sorted it. So uh, that's a lovely radio. So it's got a couple unique things, obviously the rosewood end panels, I don't know if they were ever fitted on the um, Hacker Super Sovereigns, I haven't got one, I've never seen one apart from this one. The black grill, um, as far as I know it's only ever been fitted to the Sovereign 5, 4 even, IV is 4 isn't it? Sovereign 4 and 5 I think had it, um, but yeah this, this would have been a pre-production model. Um, and I think what Rolf was saying was this would have been presented to the powers to be uh, before it went into production just uh, for them to sign off on and uh, Rolf basically had it made up so as he could test different uh, side cases on it, different grills and I believe Rolf was the actual designer of the outer case so yeah, lovely bit of hacker history there shame it's got to go back to its owner really if you like that, give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe, feel free to leave any comments and please check out my Patreon page and uh, my, also my website. Catch you soon, bye for now.